in just a minute. We also want to get to some of our other uh, big stories of the day, included among them the Supreme Court striking down a provision of the Corporate Fraud Fighting Act of Sarbanes-Oxley, saying that Uncle Sam essentially overstepped its bounds in the way that it created an accounting advisory board. Let's head to Peter Barnes, who's down there outside the high court with the latest. Peter? Well, hey, Connell. Yeah, we have two big business cases today, uh, one involving Sarbanes-Oxley and that board. But let me get to the first one, which is simpler. This is a simple patent law case, uh, a loss, though, for high-tech companies. The court ruling the companies and inventors, inventors generally cannot patent a business process. This would be something like a computer algorithm that processes an online shopping, shopping transaction for Amazon, for example. The court ruled five to four that these are abstract ideas, basically mathematical formulas that cannot be patented under current law. Now to that second case. That was a mixed uh, decision involving the accounting law, Sarbanes-Oxley, passed by Congress in 2002 after the Enron and WorldCom scandals. Sar Sarbanes-Oxley set up a new independent board to regulate the accounting industry, the Public Company Accounting Oversight Board, PCAOB, which has issued tough new auditing rules that a lot of companies think are too costly and unnecessary. But the court ruled today that the board, in fact, is too independent. The Congress didn't really make it accountable to anybody. Uh, and, uh, for example, it's very hard to fire members of this board. So the court said it should be accountable to the president under the Constitution because it's part of the executive branch. Advocates of government accountability called this a big win. It reestablishes the fact that uh, Congress cannot simply create agencies wrapped up inside other agencies, unable to be disciplined whatsoever. Instead, we now have a possibility, a new possibility, of seeing the incredibly expensive and oppressive accounting requirements imposed by this agency now being subject to challenge in court by those who've been laboring to comply with them. But the court did not close the PCAOB, as some opponents had hoped. It just said it must report now directly to the Securities and Exchange Commission, which reports to the president. Uh, supporters of Sarbanes-Oxley say this is a win for investors because they'll continue to ensure tough auditing and accounting rules. Uh, Connell, back to you. All right, Peter, good enough. And before we go back to Liz at the...